things I didn't know about CSS. On the map Aztec, you can get on top of this roof. As you can see, it's very easy to get up there. I have no idea how I missed this. I don't know how I missed that. You can get on top of this arcway. With the help from two teammates. It's actually not that hard to get up here. Office has this weird hole in it, I guess got overlooked by the developers. You can throw grenades into the hole. But it's not very useful. The map also has these short roofs you can jump onto. I uh, actually did not know about this, but it's uh, it's quite easy to get up here. On DDoS 2, it's possible to get on top of these boxes. There's a tiny ledge you can jump on. There's not much going on in DDoS 2. So this is the only thing I found. On Militia, the upstairs rooms has these small ledges that you can actually stand on. It's quite easy to get up there. There's another ledge in the fireplace room that you can stand on. By using this lamp, you can get up there pretty easy. Another thing that I found is this Turtle Rock logo hidden in the skybox. This is the company that made the Counter-Strike AIs and also the ones who made the first Counter-Strikes. Havana is the only official Counter-Strike map that is randomized every turn. As you can see every round is randomized by doors opening or doors closing, which makes it quite interesting. On port, it's possible to get on top of most of the rooftops with the help from a teammate. As you can see, it's quite easy to get on top of these roofs. On the map Inferno, this well has no bottom. As you can see, it's just a skybox you can see through the grid. You can actually kill the fish in Counter-Strike by either shooting them or using explosives. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.